Hi guys, DerpNerd here, coming at you with Kerbal Space Program Rescue SSTO. Now, in career mode, rescue missions seem to be a daily happenstance. In fact, I'll rescue a Kerbal and I'll come back and there will be a contract to rescue another Kerbal in an almost identical orbit. So I decided to make an SSTO and you can see uh, we hopped a bill out on the wrong way because uh, I have a probe on it, but the game likes to spawn in a guy. So we're going to use Bill as a target for landing later. Uh, test the engines there. And we're going to speed up time, four times speed, up until we get the intercept. So uh, this is a non-air hogging SSTO. There are only two ram intakes on the whole thing. I know, it's a miracle. Um, once it gets into orbit, it has like a thousand meters per second of delta V, which is plenty to do any intercept maneuvers I need to do and to aim right when I get come back down to land at KSC so I can get 100% value on recoverable materials and or refuel the ship. So right now we are flying and uh, <laughs> right now we're flying. Duh. Uh, we're getting up to 40 kilometers and since I'm only using one jet I don't have to worry about flame out. I just keep running that till it flames out. So soon we're gonna kick on our rockets here, but uh, we're gonna squeeze as much out of that jet as we can. There we go with the rockets. Keep the jet on as long as we can, and uh, we'll seriously start burning the rockets here in a second. And uh, time warp, yay! There we go, full throttle. Not even close. So we're going to have to slow down to have the guy catch up to us. So you'll notice I try and set up a maneuver node, but the intercepts don't are acting kind of funny. So there we go. Got a nice close intercept. And uh, just coming in, we're going to do our burn. T so we have enough fuel that we can do a burn where it, it uh, we just, we end up going slower than that, so it catches up to us. Uh, if I would have done a better launch angle, I could have caught the guy right after launch, which I've actually done a couple times. It's kind of fun because you just launch and he's right there. So I start uh, decelerating and getting a closer intercept. And this one was beautiful. I burnt this time. I'm going to burn towards him to speed up the intercept. And then uh, we're going to slow down time here, normal speed. And. Uh, Actually, it's a little faster. It's like 1.5 times normal speed. And look, we line up like right next to the guy. That was beautiful. And we're going to get him in the cockpit, and then we're going to come back and land. That's the whole premise behind this. Uh, if you land on the runway, you get 100% of the value of your spacecraft, and or you can refuel it, which is what I will do. Because it's cool if you can keep the same craft going for all of your operations. So now we're going to speed up time again here in a second. And there we go. And uh, we're going to be aiming for Bill. We have enough fuel that we can do a uh, semi-suicide burn. We're just going to burn most of our rocket fuel. And then use all the extra jet fuel we have uh, to catch up to the runway. So you also notice when I took off, I didn't have full jet fuel. And that was intentional. I don't need full jet fuel. In fact, I'm going to land with a bunch extra as well. So I could go with even less, but I like to have a margin for error so I could possibly get halfway around the planet if I miss a space center that bad. Some fun re-entering there. Some more fun re-entering. And I keep throttling up and down, try and uh, catch the runway, flip out there a little bit. But uh, we get back on track. Lower the landing gear. And uh, we're going to come back to normal time in just a second here. Alright, and now we're heading for the runway. And, uh, yeah, this this was uh, quite the uneventful trip. I was very happy with the performance of the craft. This was uh, the second time I've used it overall, second or third. But it it was uh, the first time specifically that I've launched it and intended it for reuse instead of just recovering it for full value. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, but it's kind of cool just to do it this way. So there we go. Beautiful landing. Get stopped, and we are going to hop him out, make sure he doesn't explode, get the contract done, and uh, come over to the side so that I don't have to recover the craft once I relaunch it. There we go, turn on the brakes, unlock the steering on the front wheel because I forgot. We get that contract, recover Bill, and then we're going to 
Do you want to accept another rescue contract, ironically, and pull out the refueling craft that I made? So we're going to pull that on the runway, and then we're going to uh, taxi our jet over there. Because it doesn't have rover wheels or anything like that. It just has landing legs. So we're coming up on it here, and uh, I have to do a little play with the landing gear. Oh, there we go. See? Transfer fuel, which is always fun because it takes forever. And this is sped up, especially with the smaller tanks. It just takes so much time. And then I'm going to fill the middle tank to about the same. I had it 105, and I think I leave it at 103. And uh, we're going to actually uh, recover the other craft so it's out of our way. Kind of cheaty, I know. Just go straight to that on the runway. And uh, we're going to taxi it off the runway. And it's all set for its next mission into orbit to rescue the n next stupid Kerbal to get up there. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, take care.